Hey guys, Buffer and Gaming back here, bringing you another video today. And today I want to go over the operators so far in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now with the beta, we have our hands on a few new operators as well as some that we've seen before, but we do actually have some backstories on a couple of these operators now via the Activision blog post has given us some more information regarding each of the operators that we have access to in the beta build of the game currently. So these backstories may be expanded upon by the time the game comes out. I'm not sure if they're going to have additional information of the backstory is similar to black ops 4 where they had like a little movie playthrough for each specialist but here with the operators we have some information so i wanted to go through each operator that we have the information for as well as go over the visuals and some of the new operators that we have on each frac faction so starting things off first we're going to look at the coalition forces but first off this operator screen i really like a lot i think this is pretty neat and what you can do here there's a feature to select your favorite so now if i were to select d-day or the coalition forces my favorite when i go to the play option over here um my primary operator and the faction will be showing as my character in the in the menu screen here so if I go to the operators um, I can select favorite for allegiance and then by going in I can select what my favorite operator is which in this case is Minotaur right now so let's get back to the uh, main page and we're going to start with the coalition forces so if I jump into it here first off we have the default operators for each faction and I know that they have confirmed that they will have skins for each operator which we'll get into a little bit but for the default i think they will also have skins too because i've seen some skins on some different operators that don't appear to be operators that we've seen yet but i think it'd be cool to be able to have skins on the default operators as well just to differentiate them um going forward so maybe that's a rank progression thing moving up until you un start unlocking some of the more advanced operators but you can see here the default operator for the coalition forces is pretty cool looking um looks like a standard sas uniform so I like that moving over. So we'll start with the first character that we have backstories for here or more information, we should say. So this is the SIS sub faction for the coalition forces. So this is Thorn and Thorn is obviously an SIS faction out of the United Kingdom. And his backstory is his backstory states that he is known as Union Jack to his peers, served with distinction under Captain Price for three years until his transfer for ethical disagreements, chose officer track, achieved rank of lieutenant, handpicked by SIS for the coalition. So you can see here, um, again, standard operator. He looks similar to the default operator for these coalition forces, but obviously he has the uh, Union Jack on his vest there and he is sub faction SAS. So I like his look. I personally won't be using him that much, but um, I think he is pretty cool looking. So jumping out here, we'll go over to Charlie. So she is also under the coalition and she is also obviously an SAS sub faction. So um, out of the United Kingdom and in Tasnasia. And Charlie's backstory states that she was raised on trips to Africa with her father hunting poachers in Kenya and Tasnasia. Expert tracker joined the British Army, passed selection for the SRR, helped liberate a besieged CIA safe house earning her a friend in Kate Liswell. So again, this is one of our first female operators that we can see one of two for the beta so far. And uh, she has a cool look also. So next coal for the coalition under the SAS, this is Otter. And Otter has the, we don't have any information on him, but we do know in the pre-order pack for the special editions that he is the crew expendable operator skin. So we don't know what his base skin looks like, but we do know that he does have the crew expendable operator skin that you can see on screen if you did pre-order the enhanced editions anything above standard you'll get all those operators so um his backstory has to be revealed but we do know that we will be able to equip that skin off the bat once you unlock him next up is the warcom sub faction and we we have domino who we don't have any any pictures or backstories of these guys but domino um golem and then Wyatt and Wyatt is we don't have information on him but again for the pre-order bonus packs you will get him as the war pig skin so we can equip that skin once we unlock Wyatt next over to the operators we have for demon dogs we have D-Day and D-Day obviously is United States and his background story states that he's a West Texas native served with the Army Rangers in Afghanistan pre post Iraq war discharged for section 8 after failed rescue attempt of a teammate returned to Afghanistan as a private military contractor recruited by Alice to join the Demon Dogs. So I think D-Day is one of, if not my favorite operator. He's got a really cool look. Very OGA, other government agency, as I've said in some of my past videos. I like his look. Um, and I, I like the detail on the characters too, just the contact headsets. There's different types you can see on these ones. For example, D-Day is one of a few that's wearing the, the specific dual communication contact headsets, I believe they are. And you can see he's got the cutouts around the ear but there are earbuds in his ear to communicate and those 
contact headsets usually you're talking on two distinct channels one for local military chat and then also one for officers so i'm not sure if that's specifically what this is but uh you will notice those different types of headsets as you go through the game so let's back out of here and next up we have alice so we don't have any information on her besides that she is the one that recruited d-day for the demon dogs but next up is reigns and he's the last member of the demon dogs that we have information on so obviously he's out of the united states and his backstory states that he's chicago born and raised expelled from high school after after defending another student, self-taught student of history, joined the Marine Corps to qualify for the GI Bill, went Korea instead, served in Iraq and Afghanistan as a Marine Raider. So Reigns has a really cool look as well. And you can see, as I said, with that contact headset, he's got one of these ones with the holes in the ears just for the... Oh, no, it is actually two sides. I know there's... I thought there was a couple with uh, just one sides with the cutouts, but... He's got a pretty cool look. You can see he's carrying an extra contact headset, which those are the ones with the full ear coverage on it, on his chest there. Um, he's got on his plate, he's got the American flag, B pause for his blood type. You can also see his tactical knife there uh, under the stock of his gun. And then also you can see his tactical helmet there on the back as well. And uh, he's got a pretty cool look also. I think all the operators look really neat and I, I can't wait to see the extra skins that you'll be able to unlock with them. So that's it for the coalition coalition forces but next one more thing i want to cover is for d-day we do know um at least of one other skin for him and i'll show that on screen here really quick is for that one infiltration scene teaser that they released before the official mp reveal for the game you can see d-day coming in on that little bird with a additional skin on so it's not this base skin but he's got one where he has his tactical helmet on and he looks more more military and not so much oga so that might be like his army ranger skin or something like that um, so we'll see how, how that looks when you can unlock it. And it has been confirmed by Infinity Ward and Activism that you'll be able to unlock operator skins just by progressing up. So as you unlock operators and perhaps by playing with them or just ranking up regular through the multiplayer system, you'll be able to unlock those additional skins. But next up, let's go over to the Allegiance Forces and uh starting off with the default operator um this guy looks very very much like your uh, typical russian soldier take a look at him here and again this one just screams russian so i think this is a pretty cool base operator i like this much better than the coalition's base operator i think it just looks awesome so i like that a lot moving on so this is our new operator that we have confirmed here we haven't seen him before and this is minotaur so minotaur first off i love his look but his backstory is he's from the uh, Spetsnaz fa fraction, obviously, which is out of Russia. So his backstory states that he saved countless lives during a hospital siege in the Second Chechenian War, placed on ex extended psychiatric leave, accrued several arrest warrants in Southeast Asia, called back into service by Captain Bale to expel Alcatel from Verdansk. So Verdansk single player story is going to be taking place. So I'm sure hopefully we'll be seeing him and some of these other operators in the single player mode as well. This will probably have some minor role in the story campaign of Modern Warfare. But Minotaur, I like a lot. I think he's got, a, he's very much similar to D-Day in that they have these very standout cool looks to them. Definitely screams operator. So I think this is cool. He's got that typical Russian tank top on underneath his vest and his tack gear. I like this operator a lot. This, so this one is my primary operator right now that I display in my menu screen as well. So I think he's pretty neat. And again, can't wait to see the different skins that you'll be able to get for this guy as well. So next up we have, uh, for allegiance is bail so bail we don't have any information on although i do have some images that i'll hopefully show on screen here hopefully it won't get me flagged but out of the call of duty visual guy that was teased so we do have some images of what he looks like and we have seen some of his look in images that have been re released by activision of just in gameplay and you see him in one of the images just about to get hatcheted by d-day but he looks pretty cool um He's very, very standard Spetsnaz look to him. Very tactical Russian soldier look. And then Allegiance Rodin, we don't have any information on him. Again, he looks like he's going to have a cool look. You can see the shadow, but that's about it. So I'm excited to see what he looks like. Then for the Jackals, we have Azure. And again, no real look for him. We can see that he's got the contact headset on. So probably some tactical gear there just by judging his shadow. And then second for the Jackals is Grinch. And uh, Grinch, again, we don't have any information on, but we do know he is the third and final operator skin for the pre-order bonuses. And for his second skin, you'll be able to get the all gillied up operator pack for him. So that all gillied up operator skin from Call of Duty. So that's a skin from COD 4 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. But the third and final operator for the Jackals is Zane. And Zane's backstory is that he's a Federal Republic of Nigerian soldier. So former Nigerian army witnessed atrocities committed by Al-Qatal, defected after accusing the government of keeping funds meant 
to fight Alcatel, formed the Jackals to defend Africa, funded by black market oil, classified as terrorist. He's got this tactical poncho on for this look. I'm not a big fan of this operator, but he does look cool. Um, so I'm excited to see. I'm sure he's got some other skins, but he does have a cool look to him. Next up is the Crimea under the Allegiance Forces, and this is Jaeger. So Jaeger, we don't have any information on, unfortunately, or visuals to uh, show us what he may look like. But the next two we do. So next up is Kruger. And Kruger's backstory is that he is obviously part of the, the Crimea faction out of Austria. So he's a German soldier. So his backstory states that he is Austrian born, fled to Germany to evade murder charges, served for the KSK, which is German Special Forces, under a false ID until mission gone wrong, civilians died, identity discovered, escaped custody before court-martial, maintains innocence. So this guy's got a really cool look to him. I think he's one of the fan favorites. I see him a lot in the gameplay so far for the beta, and he's got that cool head net on, which is pretty neat. Overall, he is one of the coolest looks, I think, in the game so far. And then next up, and the final operator that we have the information for is Sid. So Sid is from the United States. So Sid's backstory states that she was born in Washington, D.C. to a wealthy politician family, joined the U.S. Army at 18 years old, family had her stationed in Bulgaria, served full enlistment, traveled five years off-grid, fighting in conflict zones from Eastern Europe to Africa. So that's all the information we have on her. And again, this is our second female operator that we can see in the game so far. And she's got a cool look. I see her on the being used in the beta a little bit too. But uh, you can see she's got she's got one of those contact headsets that has not fully recovered. And she's got the buds in. So she looks pretty neat as well. So some more information. How do you unlock operators? As I said, just by ranking up and leveling up, you'll be able to unlock the operators and then the skins for them. And then with the exception of, of Grinch and the other two here on the coalition forces being Wyatt as well as Otto you'll get those skins for the pre-order bonus from COD 4 or COD 4 Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. So that's really it for this video so far. I think um, obviously my favorite operators are and I think everybody's favorite operators are, are D-Day as well as Minotaur. So Minotaur looks pretty sweet, that Russian soldier. And again, these are all just nicknames. These are obviously aren't their like real names. These are just their code names as operators. Um, I like Minotaur the best, I think. Minotaur and D-Day by far. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like this information? Do you like the backstories that you get for the operators? And then also let me know who your favorite operator is. And again, it is pretty cool that you can set them, at, set which faction you want as favorite as well as select your favorite operator. And that'll go back and you can select, you can see that in your quick play screen here in the lobby when you're playing with friends so that operator that you've decided to be your favorite and showcased here will be sh will show up so that's a pretty cool feature to see as well so let me know what you guys think who's your favorite operator what operators are you looking forward to seeing are you looking forward to seeing some of these ones that haven't been revealed yet like bail and some of the others sound off in the comments below but until next time guys buffner gaming out